What is happening everybody? My name is Steven Orsay Jam, and a while ago on my channel I posted some Dante Virgil graphical tech and people wanted to see a little bit more expanded of it because not everybody runs Virgil and uh, it was some really interesting stuff that was some full screen gravel confirmed so I decided I would go in the lab and work on some stuff with Dante's more popular assists and the usual assists that follow Dante are obviously Magneto's Disruptor and Strider's Badra. So I'm going to be showing off some uh, some unique grapple techs and some 50-50s I haven't seen anybody else using uh, with Dante's grapple. So I'm going to be doing it against Virgil because if your tech works against Virgil, it doesn't matter who else it works against. Like, as long as it works against Virgil, it's good. That shit's good. So um, I'm going to show you guys some resets here and just some variations of the grapple as well as the weasel shot stuff because I haven't seen a lot of people abusing weasel shot as much as they should. Although um, certain top players like IFC Yipes has been, have been abusing it for a while. Because uh, I posted about it on my channel forever ago when nobody was using it. And I'm happy to see people are because it's a great reset tool. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, we're here to talk about full screen grapples and 50-50s. So, here's some stuff to know. Dante can get a full screen grapple confirm off Vajra and Disruptor. And it's not really that hard. All you have to do is whip, stand, see, and cancel into grapple. So it's going to look like that. Okay. So here, I'll give you guys an example. There's Disruptor. And then this is Vajra. Two hits. The problem with Vajra, however, if, is that if you're at this length, sometimes, like, yeah, it'll hard knock down like that. And uh, you can't really confirm off of it, but uh, that's not really a big deal because instead you can, you can like, oh, that, well, that completely whipped. But you, you, you have some different options that I'll show you guys a little bit down in the video. But uh, don't worry about that too much. So you may be asking, what does this grapple reset mean for me if I'm a Dante player? Well... It's actually really good because a lot of times you may know, you know, you play Dante and you're forced to burn a meter early or you're fighting against the Hulk or something like that. And you don't want to snap for some reason because you're crazy. You're just like, I want to reset. So grapple resets are some of the best in the game for a good reason that they neutral tech. Uh, and a neutral tech means that, whoops, after I grapple him, he's forced to tech like that. He has uh, no other options right there. So, what does that mean for you? Well, you get an, a 50-50 right off the bat off of your grapple. Anytime you land a grapple, it's a free 50-50 for two reasons. First of all, you can jump and do hammer. Second of all, you can do some kind of cross-up normal. So, you know, the cross-up normal will look like that. And the hammer will look like this. So, that's a 50-50 right off any grapple you land. But, you can actually extend that quite a bit with, um, with some stuff. So, even if, you know, you're using this, and then you get your 50-50 after. Like, that's great and everything, but you can actually get a lot more. So, as I was talking about Weasel Shot earlier, that's one of your best tools as a Dante player for resets and pressure in general. Um, because this is what it looks like. Because this right here is key. That is so good for a, a number of reasons. First of all, on incoming, you can actually combo off of that. Uh, it's fairly easy, and you can get like a full confirm off of it. It's really nice, but Weasel Shot uh, can actually be followed up by a number of things. Like, one of the more common ways you see it now is uh, people will stinger and do that after. And I mean, that's great and all, right? But you can actually get more. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Uh, you get a 50-50 again after you do any grapple and go for a weasel shot setup because you can do something like this. Okay, so that was Stan C and a teleport. That's a cross-up setup. And I'll show you guys the same side setup. Now those work with Vajra as well. And Vajra even knocks them out of the air. Um, if they try to super jump out or something like that, so you can get a full confirm. Now, both of those are true 50 50 since uh, when you hit C, it's really confusing. It's either C into grapple or it's C into teleport. And you can confuse your opponent because no matter what, like, it's not obvious. You're not down downing or something like that. You're, you're masking your motion in the normal, which is what makes it easy. Um, I mean, even if you don't do C, you could still do grapple, and they could be confused by it, but it's, it's, not, as, uh, it's not as tricky. And as a Dante player, you got to look stylish. Why not whiff a normal? So, um, uh, if you guys want to see some examples of some pressure by this, I'm going to post the video link down below. I'm just going to throw the, the CPU on all block and go ham and show you guys some of the stuff you can do. But, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a general idea of the stuff you can do. So, like, you know, a general one would look something like this. Like, that's, that's your cross-up variation. And then your same side. So there you go, there's another 50-50 off grapple. And as I mentioned, uh, a Strider in the corner. So like if you're in a corner with Strider and you do your Vajra, you you don't want to do a grapple because it's too close. Uh, if you do your uh, Weasel Shot setup, I mean, you don't want to do a grapple. What you actually want to do is Stinger. And you have another like sort of 50-50 you can do right here. So if you get your thing, 
And then you sting her right here. You have a 50-50. You can go low or you can cross up again. So it'll look at something like this. Right? You have that one. And you also have this one. And then you get the additional cross up, right? And you can just combo off it if they get hit by Strider. But, uh, you know, even more. Like, if you want to go... If you want to go Inception status and go deeper. And there you go. There's a there's a reset on reset on reset. So, I hope this has helped you guys out. I know it's not a 12-minute Dante combo video or something like that. I apologize. Uh, I'm here to try to bring some stuff that will help you guys out. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Other than that, I will see you guys later.